It's choreographies of all different languages. It's ballet. It's reggae. It's calypso. It's all genre styles. It's things that have nothing to do with dancing at all. My name is Jonathan George, and I am a flex dancer. Jadon to his friends. Flex is more than dance for him. It gets what's inside him out. When you're angry, when you're going through things at home, when you're going through things at work, you take it out on dancing and you let all the negative energy go out. You know, one new for a long time that Flex exists. It was trapped in, in Brooklyn for so long. Flex has its roots in Jamaica, but it was born in the 90s on Brooklyn street corners. Jadon and his friends gathered huge crowds all over the borough. It got to the point where it got serious and we really wanted to step our game up and what we basically did was grab the, the top best dancers of Flex and created one group and that was the Ringmasters. Here is Ringmasters. In 2009, they went national on America's best dance crew. But Jay was looking for his next move. His next move came to him. I went to this basement in Brooklyn on a whim and watch this group of dancers just pour their souls and their passion. She was blown away by so many great dancers and one dancer stood out the most to her and it was me. She said, this is what I want to collaborate with. Michelle spent 13 years on her toes with ABT, the renowned American ballet theater, then left to start her own company, Ballet Next. I wanted to experiment with choreographing and I also wanted to do something outside of the box. So she asked Jay Don to take her there. For Jay Don, ballet was a world away. I didn't know what plies or, or this and that was, but I did know what <laughs> Jay Don couldn't tell us, well, you have to put your arm here. And, uh, you have to go, oof, 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 oof. This is how he explained to us how to do things. They wrote a ballet piece called Something Sampled that told Jay's story, his first experience with ballet. Jay wakes up in a room with three ballerinas and has no idea what to do. They quickly learned to depend on their first love the art of dance to bridge the gap. I don't have to verbally say anything to anybody. I can just speak through my body language. I think the bottom line was that we were having so much fun. I can't remember a rehearsal. I never walked out of one of those rehearsals upset. I always walked out smiling and laughing and I, I couldn't wait for the next day. It was a very encouraging positive way of um, dealing with one another, which is not very typical in the ballet world. The ballet world is very critical, and it's your left leg's not turned out enough, your right eyelash needs to be at 45 degrees. And this was just about being creative. I feel like I've busted open a new door, and there's um, this, this new space and so much more to say. have to figure out a new language and a new way of communicating with what, with one another, which only makes your world richer. That's just my whole main goal, just making sure that the dance center flex break through different barriers and find its way through to different homes. If you don't take risks, you'll never get any further. You'll never know how far you can go.